All right, so here we go. I have news as to what's coming, what's changing for the 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 series lineup. So with that, let's get going. All right, so in the event that you missed the video I did, uh, not even quite less than a week ago, about a week ago, uh, talking about what's coming new for changes to the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado. This time, it's GMC's turn to tell you what they're changing, what they're coming out with for the 2024 model year. There's a couple of exciting things, at least as far as I'm concerned. I know something you folks have been waiting for for some time, at least a lot of you in my comments, whether it be on Instagram or Facebook or, of course, here on YouTube. But first of all, I want to talk about a couple of the you know smaller changes to kind of let you know uh, what's happening. Um, first, first of all, uh, if you hadn't already heard this, heard this part of me, uh, they are changing the name of the 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo to the Turbo Max. This is an engine they've been using for a little while. Of course, they bumped it up, uh, and now they're using it. Of course, in the Colorados, they're using it in the Canyons, uh, the Silverados. Of course, uh, the thing's got 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque, uh, and if you didn't already know this, this 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo has max towing of 9,500 pounds. Now that's in the two wheel drive. I think it's just slightly less when you get into the four wheel drive, but it's going to be called the turbo max. I bet we're going to see that name going over the Canyon soon as well. But again, 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. What else have we got going? Well, uh, there are some changes again, some minor changes, as I mentioned, uh, I'm just reading off here. There's new power retractable assist, assist steps, pardon me, on the Denali, Denali Ultimate 84 and 84 X. Uh, so that's something to look out for. Uh, there's an available active exhaust for the Denali, Denali Ultimate uh, 84, 84 X and SLT. Uh, I believe that's with the 6.2 liter. Uh, and then again, there's two. Uh, oh, the one thing that, uh, that they did say uh, in this release that I got is there is going to be two new aluminum wheel offerings. The unfortunate part is even after reaching back out to GMC, uh, there is no pictures of those yet. Of course, the second I do see those, I will let you know. It doesn't also, it doesn't actually even say which specific uh, models are gonna be available on, but two new uh, aluminum wheels coming out, which uh, wheels are always a point of contention. I know with, with with many of you, there are a lot of comments when I post pictures of a Denali Ultimate that we don't like the wheels or or the AT4X or whatever it is. Because of course looks are subjective, so maybe one of these two wheels will suit your fancy, so to speak. Uh, there other thing other thing is too. There's gonna be two new colors which we have now seen on the HD lineup. So I'll show you, unfortunately, these are the computer renderings. I've never seen either of these two colors in person yet. Otherwise I would have had a picture and what I do, I'll show you, but we're gonna have the downpour uh, metallic is gonna be the one color, which is a, you know, a dark, dark blue. And then we're gonna have a thunderstorm gray, which looks to be like a dark, you know, charcoal gray. Uh, so those are gonna be two new colors. Now, the big news, of course, the, 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 the thing that I know a lot of you've been waiting for, we saw this in the Chevrolet Silverado with the ZR2, now we're seeing it with the AT4X, we are finally going to have the three liter Duramax turbo diesel. Yes, that engine built in Flint, Michigan is now going to be available on the GMC Sierra AT4X. Finally, I know a lot of you have been wanting this. I myself have been wanting it. I love the engine. I love that motor so much. And, uh, and it's only, you know, it's only going to be that much better in that model. And of course, again, they did a change to that motor, if you didn't already know. So uh, in 2023, uh, of course, again, they bumped up the uh, the horsepower, the torque. And I'll tell you how they did that actually really quickly as well. Um, but first and foremost, again, if you didn't already know the numbers, it uses a 10-speed transmission, obviously. Uh, but they have 305 horsepower, 495 pound-feet of torque, which is incredible. But the way they achieved that over the outgoing previous uh, 3 liter Duramax turbo diesel is they've changed the things. They have new steel pistons with revised combustion bowl, the retuned turbo compressor, new fuel injectors, and an improved temperature control features. So those are changes they made from the outgoing model to the new Duramax turbo diesel to give it even that much more uh, torque especially. So great news coming out of the GMC campaign. I know there's not a ton of changes. There's not a lot of changes, but again, if you just bought a 2023 or 2022, maybe you're happy to see that. I mean, for those of you who've been waiting for that Dur Dur Duramax in, in the AT4X, we now have it. There's some other changes coming out, as I mentioned. Super excited for this. And as I have any more news, if I have those wheels or if I have the real color on those trucks, I'll definitely be sharing it with you on here. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.